Good morning from Florida. This is the mobile home guy from Central Florida and today I want to talk to you about the three major things that you need to pay attention to if you're looking to purchase an existing mobile home. Okay. The first thing would be the roof. Second thing would be the air conditioning unit. And the third thing are the floors. Now let's go back up to the roof and we'll talk about that for a minute. Basically, there are three different types of, of, uh, of roof that they put on a mobile home. Okay, The first thing is a membrane roof, and we actually have nicknamed it a rubber roof. And that's really one of the best because it has a lifetime warranty with it. Uh, actually, it's, it's in, it comes in white. Now, down here in the south, white means a lot because, you know, it's hot down here and that reflects the heat, so that's good. Uh, but anything that's got a lifetime warranty, that kind of makes it the best roof in construction, actually. Now, the second thing is the, the metal roofs. Now, you might be a little leery of a metal roof, but the insurance companies love them, and they last and last and last. Now, the third thing would be a shingled roof. Now, if you're looking, if you're from up north, you've probably been lived under a shingle roof for many years. They're really good, very functional. So those are the three roofs that you need to watch for. Now, the second thing is the air conditioning unit. Now, not a lot to say there. What we're talking is age, age, age. Try to find one under five years old if you can. Uh, if you find a really nice home that you like, the air conditioning unit is a little older, like nine years, 10 years, 11 years old. That's fine. Just know that you're going to have to be replacing that in, the, in a few years, okay? Now, the third and probably the most complicated is, are the floors. Now, the, I'm going to talk about the top of the floors right now, okay? Which is the, I'm, I'm talking about the laminate that you may have or the carpeting that you may have or the linoleum. Now, if you buy a home that, that needs all of that replaced, you're looking at four to $6,000. Uh, it could be even more. Uh, depending on whether you do it or whether you have it done. Depends on uh, how big your mobile home is, but that's a pretty sizable amount of money that you want to watch out for. Now, the other part of the floors is the underlayment in a mobile home. The underlayment should be three-quarter inch plywood. That's the best, about the best you can find in a mobile home. Okay, Some mobile home um, makers, manufacturers, try to save a little money and they'll put in press board flooring. Now if you know anything about plywood and press board, you know that is not a good flooring material. Uh, what you want to do is check. You're going to check around all of your wet areas in the house. Check around the sinks, the kitchen sink, the bathroom sink, the, the spare bathroom sink. You want to check around there, the uh, toilets, around the toilet you want to press. See, now, if those are press board, you're going to find some problems here, probably. Uh, if it's not press board, then uh, they last quite a long time. Another place to check would be underneath the windows, because windows leak. So you want to kind of, just kind of walk real closely and put your weight on it. And you, you can feel it giving if, if it's older, okay? All right, now... What I'd like you guys to do is just subscribe to me because I'm going to be putting more videos out there. A video I will be putting out in the future is called The Heart of the Mobile Home. And I'll explain that in the video. Okay? So listen. Be good out there and uh, watch what you're doing. And this is the Mobile Home Guy from Central Florida signing off.